Jared, it's so good to see you, man. Hold on, I'm gonna take this out. Can you still hear me? Oh yeah, yeah. I accidentally had it going through my new mic here. Oh. So, is it not working? Yeah. Oh no, it is. Oh okay. Oh yeah, yeah. I just it turned all the way down, and I didn't realize it was going through this microphone instead. Oh, I see. I see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That that does happen. That that's happened to me on occasion as well. So. Yeah. Yep. So. That's what was going on. You're not getting any wind noise at all, are you? Nope. I'm not hearing a thing, man. Good. Sounds nice. I have a fan blowing on me because it's hot as hell in my room. I have a fan blowing on me as well. I, I do almost every night, as a matter of fact. Oh. Um, but I, I do not hear it, which is nice. Must uh, that, that mic must have some pretty good rejection. Always to it. I don't know. It was like $20. So. <laughs> <laughs> Money well spent, my friend. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> it's got um, the S. It's, it's, uh, it's doing really nicely on the s's compared to your headset i know that yeah my headset might kind of <laughs> sucks but they they normally do yeah yep oh, i mean this was like a 120 dollar headset but it's more for the sound quality as opposed to the microphone so yeah if you want to if you want a total solution with a headset mic uh you're gonna you're gonna easily be in the 300 to a thousand dollar range yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so and this 20 dollar mic obviously does the trick <laughs> yes absolutely well, it's been so long, man. What, uh, what, are you, I know. what have you been up to? Well, I have a new job. Oh, do tell. I work, or I just got it on Friday, as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. And I work for Bergstrom Automotive at, in Middleton. Oh. And I'm, I'm going to be doing online digital sales. This is what you emailed me about. I remember yes. talking about this briefly. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, at that time, you hadn't gotten it yet. I think you're going to the interview. So, yep. so it was, you know, you, you uh, aced it, right? I did. I I went in for the interview on Wednesday last week, and they called me on Friday, and they said they weren't going to call me back until after Labor Day. Very nice. So, hopefully, that's a precursor as to. Well, I mean, I got the job, so I don't know. I don't know anything about it. Meaning, like, as far as like details, like what i'll exactly be doing and yeah yeah well like that, that that was part of though right i mean they, they yeah. Did training yeah that's awesome dude that's awesome so you're going to do that while uh while you're in this year of school yep um i'm taking well I'll, i didn't really plan on getting this job right away i was planning on doing something way less intensive mm -hmm. so what i think i'm going to do for the meantime is i'm going to take this semester off of school so i can focus on getting started on my job because it's I mean, to be fair, if they're paying me what I think they're going to be paying me, what the ad said, and as far as like uh, bonuses and things go, mm -hmm. I'll be making almost double what I would as my as a first year engineer. Sweet. Yeah. So I'm Sweet. excited about that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I hope it works out, man. You know me, me too. <laughs> I've, like, I've just had what? a suit. Why would, it's just, why would you care if it works out? <laughs> <laughs> It was weird because everybody every time somebody would say something they're like i hope it works out i'm like yeah me too usually i don't get this far usually something's gone wrong already oh man wait to get older <laughs> i don't think i want to i i don't either man i don't either i am far too young to have these uh these kind of medical issues to be honest with you i'm in i'm in pretty good shape uh without this whole thing but damn um yeah what, what i was saying though is when you get older <clears throat> ageism is real i am here to tell you so oh yeah i believe that yeah enjoy it while you can i yeah. even i even went so far as to renew my real estate license to start investing really? again mm -hmm. yep hmm. yeah now that's what i want to do when i get a little bit of money to play with mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna play monopoly on on uh, the scale one 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 inch equals one inch <laughs> 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 i have a map at home yeah with, yeah, scale one inch equals one inch. Yep. <laughs> Thank so you, Stephen like Wright. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Stephen Wright. I stole that joke from you, buddy. <laughs> so, how did you, or how are you, uh, celebrating Labor Day? I want to get that uh, out of here. Well, I just moved back to. Well, I recognize I say, the room. I say school, but I mean I'm not here for school anymore. So. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what else? What's that going to do? Uh, well, I mean, it's the, my job is close enough to here. So I can still do that. Oh, okay, cool. Cool. Yeah. Is rent reasonable? 
Hmm? Rent reasonable? Oh, God, yeah. It's dirt cheap. <laughs> Student like, rates. Like $400 a month dirt cheap. Holy sheep shit. Of course, that's more than my first house payment. Really? Oh, yeah. Well, I'm an old bastard. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was buying houses before you were in diapers. You almost made me spit up my whiskey. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh man. No, seriously, I bought my first house in I want to say eighty nine, and um, my house payment was three hundred twenty seven dollars. Jesus. <laughs> well, I mean, I I rent this house. I mean, it's a house. Mm -hmm. It used to be a duplex, so it's pretty big. But I live here with four, three other guys. One mm -hmm. of them was my brother. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. Very cool. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, man. Um, so what's the deal with your back, man? Oh, it's, it's, uh, we have any kids in the room. Doesn't look that way. It's fucked up. <laughs> it's fucked up. Yeah. Um, Sounds like what I did on Friday night. Yeah. Well, it's not, it's not something I did. Uh, it's, it's been, uh, and you, you've been watching this show for a while. I've actually had a couple shows on my back. It's I've had I've had back problems for the last 25, 30 years, dude. Really? Yeah. <laughs> and it came to a head. This this was by far the worst. Uh, I was like I said, I was on that live stream and I, I went to the bathroom and, and after cleaning up, I went to stand all the way up and, and I literally almost hit the floor. I mean, Oof. it just gave out on me. Thanks. Yeah. Grabbing walls, get grabbing counters. You know, I'm, I'm all over the place. Yeah, yeah. Hobbled back to my chair. Almost woke up the wife and said, uh, you know what? We need to uh, we need to go to the emergency room because it was Damn. it was freaking Saturday night, right? I mean, I, it was all I could do to get back to that chair, and because there's no crawling, I, I, if I'd gone down the floor, I'd never got up. Yikes! That's not yeah. good. Yeah, so I was able to hobble back, and we're talking about shuffling, you know, foot by foot. Mm -hmm. And yeah. tried... I've, I've honestly been there. I've done that before. Have you? Like, oh god, yeah. Oh mm -hmm. man, what, I, don't, I don't remember what it was. I think I was sitting in a chair. And I just like turned, like rotated the wrong way. And it just, I don't know. I just couldn't move. And I'm like, you know, the, the, everything contracts and you like can't breathe that well. Oh man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are, you are for, far too young for that. Oh, I've had it happen multiple times. It's weird. Wow. Now, how is it when you're, when your back's good? How is it? I mean, is it oh, feel like, no, like it's just for like, I'll do something to it. And then like a week and a half, two weeks at the most. And then I'll like, I'll just, I will, I have a, uh, a foam roller. Mm -hmm. So I'll lay on my back and I'll just slide, roll back and forth over on that. It's kind of like a uh, Homer's trash can repair is his yeah. spine repair. <laughs> I'll do that. And then if it's like, most of the time what happens is it's a muscle, like right underneath my shoulder blade. Mm. That's usually where mine are. Oh. It's not like an actual like spinal issue. It's like a muscle right underneath my shoulder blade. Wow. So I take a tennis ball and I put it like kind of in that kind of groove there and I'll roll back and forth on that. I can feel it like rubbing over it and kind yeah. of pushing it and trying to get it, that knot out, but it'll just. Yeah. Like a Charlie horse in your back. Problem. Yeah. It's a problem spot for me. <clears throat> oh, I'll be damned, dude. You are far too young for that. Tell me about it. Like <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> but at least, at least you don't have any pain, you know, in between those little uh, episodes. Oh, no. Yeah. And those so, episodes are few and far between. Oh, okay. Okay. Like I've had like, I don't know, maybe six times, seven times my entire life. I'm ah. Starting in high school. So like in the past 10 years. Mm. So, mm. It doesn't happen very often, but when it does, it sucks ass. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this, this was the first one for me, uh, to this yeah. level. I mean, I, I, uh, there's, there's not a day that goes by that my back doesn't hurt in some way. Like if I stand more than five minutes, it's, yeah. it, you know, if I, if I lean over, think, think about wiping your dog's feet off when they come in after a rainy day or in a rainy day. Oh yeah. Just wiping that off. It, it becomes excruciating and hard to get up. Oh, I know. Yeah. yeah. And, and I've been dealing with I this. I kind of hear it in your voice right now. Can you? That's what I, 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 I thought bit. my voice sounded different. Mm -hmm. you, I mean, you can kind of sound like the, just like that. It's kind of tense and you have to talk like this because yeah. it's tight. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I'm, I'm doing everything I can to relax, believe me. Oh, I have. A, I went to the doctor one time because it was just too bad. And he gave me these muscle relaxers. And it was just this tiny ass pill. I'm like, what the hell is that going to do for me? Holy crap. Pow. <laughs> he told me not to take it before work. And I am glad I didn't. <laughs> I took it at eight o'clock at night before I went to bed. 
usually I thought I'd you know give myself a couple hours. Usually I go to bed at 10, 10 30 for work. Huh. 20. I was passed the fuck out. Oh man. <laughs> it was like it was weird. I've never felt like that before because I'm like, whoa. <laughs> well, see, I'm I'm a child of the 70s, so I have. <laughs> <laughs> You don't say. Oh, man. I could tell you stories, Jared. I could tell you stories. In fact, oh, I don't doubt that. My, my boy turns 30 this year. He gets to start hearing them. Because I always said, yeah, no, I, I got a lot of stories, but you don't get to hear them until after you're 30. <laughs> no, no sense in, in, uh, in, it, it's almost a green light, man. If you're going to, if you're going to tell your kids all your, your bad habits and stories and episodes and all that when they're young. First thing they're going to do in their head is go, well, you know, they did it. Yeah. Like, no, they no. Did it. yeah. 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 So I'm like, no, that's not going to happen. So I, st- I started telling my mom some of the <laughs> dumb things I've done. And I asked her like, you know what she's done. And she told me the worst thing she'd ever done. And I'm like, well, hell I've already done that like six times. <laughs> yep. Yep. That is how it goes, man. That is how it goes. <laughs> I that, but I'm thinking to myself like, well, <laughs> it changes your entire outlook on your parents when that happens too. I don't know how much I'm going to be actually, actually to be able to tell him though. Most, most of it's come out on this show. <laughs> that's the hell of it. <laughs> oh man. Oh, um, well, listen, Jared, um, I do not want to rush you off because I still enjoy having you up. Uh, but I got Tony and I'm, I'm kind of run. I'm, I'm not hearing you now. I said, is your back killing you? Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to feel it again. So I, I figure I've got, uh, I figure I've got limited time. Uh, I thought I'd chat with Tony for just a bit and then uh, call it a night. Kind of work into this slowly. I don't want to, sure. you know, I don't want to rush wait, it. On. We need story time with Tony. Story time with Tony. <laughs> <laughs> well, dude, it's fantastic. Well, to see, I'm, I wish you all the luck in the no world problem. on that on that new job. Thank you. Uh, and, and any school you decide to undertake from, from yeah. there. So, uh, and, uh, uh, for the love of Pete, don't, don't, uh, don't be a stranger. Will you? I know I've been so busy with, but now it should be like, I should be more active. We'll just oh, say that. Awesome. I saw you just released a video today. Yep. I did. Yep. Guys go check out, uh, Wisco's latest video. Uh, I haven't seen it yet because, uh, I've just been trying to do other things, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I tried to go a little bit different direction. Yeah, just most of my subscribers are on my channel because of two videos, mm. my Wisconsin accent video or something about weird laws, weird Wisconsin laws. Most of my subscribers came from those two videos. Yeah. So I did, I kind of did a, I kind of combined the two. I did five, was it five weird, but true facts about Wisconsin. That's what I think I did. Nice. Nice. So there's some goofy ones, and I was doing research for this thing. I'm like, holy crap, that that's a thing. <laughs> so, all right, we'll need that one. So you have to check it out. <laughs> I will, my friend, and I hope everybody else does as well. Uh, like I said, don't become a stranger, and and uh, uh, dude, you know you're always welcome here. I'll be around. All right, thanks, bud. All <laughs> Talk right. to you later. Yeah.